necessarily appear on the top five or top ten list when it comes to baseball literature. So with that in mind, I thought I would just read a, a few excerpts. This is from the, the introduction. In his introduction to the Norton Book of Sports, George Plimpton described his small ball theory of literature. Plimpton, who served as editor for the anthology, believed there was a, quote, correlation between the standard of writing about a particular sport and the ball it utilizes, that the smaller the ball, the more formidable the literature, close quote. Accordingly, since the national pastime employs one of the smaller pieces of sports equipment, there have been, according to Plimpton, very good books about baseball. Sure, it's a cliche to say that baseball is a metaphor for life, but precisely that notion is reflected in the wide range of genres, from fiction to philosophy, statistics to science, and biographies to business, among others. Perhaps it's the leisurely pace of the game, stretched out over several hours and played during the languid days of summer, that lends baseball to the printed word. The Hall of Fame Library in Cooperstown boasts a collection of more than 10,000 volumes <coughs> dating back to the mid-19th century, and the Library of Congress has similar holdings, so there's nothing really to worry about and never going to <laughs> get, get close to that. As I said, I make no claim that the 500 or so titles you will find in this book are necessarily the best baseball books. That's too subjective. But I hope they will provide an entry into the fascinating world of baseball literature with its connections to other areas one might not normally associate with the game. Just as there are the Stephen King's, John Clancy's, and Agatha Christie's in the so-called real literary world, there are similar staples in baseball literature. W.P. Kinsella in fiction, Peter Gollenbeck for team and oral histories, Donald Honig for general histories with some fiction thrown in for a change of pace, Harold Seymour and David Q. Boyd for their multi-volume histories of the national pastime, and John Thorne, appointed as official historian for Major League Baseball in 2011, who's a bit of a polyglot with volumes of history, statistics, analysis, reference, reference, and even a children's book. The books listed here represent some of the best, most well-produced, and quirkiest examples of the various departments within the grand department store that is baseball. Of course, you might disagree. What's baseball without a good debate? Some books fit into more than one category. For example, Jonah Carey's The Extra 2%, How Wall Street Strategies Took a Major League Baseball Team from Worst to First, is located in the business section of many bookstores, rather than with the rest of the baseball titles. Similarly, a biography of necessity crosses into history, while volumes on statistics could also fit into the area of analyses. They are offered here based on the most appropriate category, with additional notation of crossover themes where appropriate. And I'm going to read a few uh, entries from 